and here with us to talk all about the parade and also uh, to show a little bit about why there's this theme of holiday magic going on with the parade this year is Zach Mears. Zach, you are a world renowned magician and you're going to be bringing some magic to the parade this year. Yeah, I'm so excited. So we got a lot planned during the broadcast and also on the floor. Can you make the rain disappear? Uh, you know, um, <laughs> I'm trying my best. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'll certainly try my best. Fingers crossed. Yeah. So we'll see. If it doesn't rain, I did it. Okay. okay. There we go. Okay, Fair you enough. did it. All right. What about like when you when it comes to ma <laughs> magic? Yeah. How does one discover illusions. that they have uh, the ability to do illusions and magic? How did you get into this line of work? Um, you know, I was a kid and I saw David Blaine on TV and my family is from Afghanistan. So it was okay. like the first time all of us saw magic and he took a card, he gave it to a kid, that card changed in the kid's hand. And I was like, that's what I'm gonna do for the rest of my life. That is so cool. Yeah. And, and so you're gonna do it for the rest of your life, but you're going to treat us in North Texas to some of your, uh, your expertise during the show, the Parade of Lights, you'll be on the float, yep. you'll be on the live broadcast, and yes. right now you're gonna give us a sample. Yeah, Just so, a sample. so it's the holidays, I'm so excited about it, so I thought we could celebrate. I love okay. it, let's celebrate. All right. well, well, let's do it, what are we, we gonna celebrate? Brought some. Uh oh. Well, uh -oh. I, I don't, some rose. Some, uh, some, <laughs> some rose. Well, I don't, is it too early? No. No, is it good? Okay, uh -uh, great. It's five o'clock awesome. somewhere. So this is how magicians celebrate the holidays. Um, we're going to open this up in the most magical way. Okay. Uh, Keith, whenever you say go, uh -huh. we'll celebrate. Does okay, you good? see how I'm leaning back because I, I, I'm worried about that. No, 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 okay. no, no. So whenever I say go? Yeah, whenever you say okay, go. Okay, so you know what? Go. Are you sure? Go. <laughs> Where to go? <laughs> Cheers. Seriously, Cheers, Zach. Okay. Seriously? Yeah, I don't know. Seriously? Stop, stop, stop raining. Uh, uh, wait rain. a minute. <laughs> oh, come on, man. You know, yeah. most, most people at home are thinking that somehow you timed it. You had it almost ready to pop. No, yeah. And you knew I was going to say go instantaneously. Keith, you are magic. Yeah. You're magic. You did that. And, and by the way, this is just a tablecloth to keep uh, Keith and I from losing our jobs. Yeah. Champagne all over the uh, table. <laughs> uh, Zach, Zach, I got to ask you. When, when people, I mean, I've always asked magicians this. Mm -hmm. When people say to you, hey, man, come on now. How'd you do that? That wasn't real. That wasn't real. Well, what's your first response? What's your genuine, what's your consensus response to people when they say, how'd that happen? You know what? I yeah. Don't, I don't believe that. Well, I take it as a compliment because obviously magic isn't real, but the experience of magic is very real to all of us. Yeah. So when we do our jobs correctly, you could experience awe and wonder and all the amazing things. Yeah, because my, my head's literally racking itself trying to figure out, okay, how did that just happen <laughs> when you yeah, said the know. magic word? Yeah, I know. yeah, I mean. Huh. Keith, seriously, how did, how did I, you do that? I, I, I don't know. <laughs> I said go. Well, you knew, I mean, I, I knew I was going to jump the gun and say go right away. <laughs> and I said go, and then all of a sudden this thing pops. And it, the thing about it is nobody put their hands on the bottle. No. Mm -hmm. you, you didn't, like, uh, twist it. You no. didn't pull it. You even in setting it up, it was inside this bag the whole time. Yeah. So, hmm. I'm a believer. I don't know. I'm a believer. Know I'm a believer. And hey, if you if you maybe aren't a believer yet, I promise at 9:30 in our half hour on the stream, he, Zach's going to turn you into a believer because he's going to do an even bigger <laughs> magic trick for us or illusion. Yeah. Uh, coming up at about 9:40, so you're definitely going to want to tune into the stream for that. CBSNewsTexas.com. Zach Mears. Oh, thank you so much, y'all. Champagne, not Mears. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <All right. laughs> hey, we're going to have some. I'm going to have some of this. Maybe not in this hour, but I'm going to have some of this rosé. All yeah, right. Zach, that was, that was fun. That was cool. Oh, that was thank fun. you so, that was, so much. That was fun. That was definitely different. It was fun. <laughs> I'm a believer. I don't know what to say. We'll be right back. All right, good morning and thank you for joining us for another half hour streaming to you live now on CBS News Texas and on the CBS News app. I'm Madison Sawyer and Keith, we've got somebody special here with yeah, us. Yeah, we do. We have, we have uh, Zach Mears. He's going to be 
performing magic uh, all during the parade of lights. He's going to be on the floats. He's going to be part of the live broadcast. You'll see with uh, Nicole Baker and Scott Padgett Sunday from 6 to 8 on TXA 21. And so you have blessed us with your presence today in studio. Last half hour, you, you pop that champagne. You pop that champagne without anybody touching the champagne. So now I don't know how it happened yeah, either. So now you have something else magical to, 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 to tell us about and display. Yeah, so there's so many incredible things we experienced during the holidays. For example, Christmas trees, Santa Claus, ugly sweaters. Yeah. I mean, they're special. Are, yeah. 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 I brought a gift. Okay. Okay. All right. Just before we get started, you didn't see what's under the gift. No. You didn't see what's under the gift. No. All right. No. Um, the person behind the camera, can you point to Keith or Madison? Just go ahead. Yep. Okay, great. Okay. Awesome. Madison? Yep. All right, Madison, what I want you to do is name a random holiday item. Go ahead. Uh, candy cane. Candy cane. Yeah. Mistletoe. <laughs> mistletoe. Well, okay. Well, candy cane. Oh, okay. Candy cane. That's I thought good. it was my turn. Okay. No, no, no. It's totally good. You like okay. mistletoe, but yeah. candy cane. The first. Okay, follow yeah, yeah. the rules here. But it's okay. So here's the thing. I brought a gift. Okay. Huh. Would it be crazy cane? if it's a candy cane? It would be crazy because you had no idea what she was going to say. It is oh. a... That's an ornament. Well, it's an ornament. What is that? Yeah. <laughs> okay. It's a giant ornament. Okay. He uh -oh. is very oh, confused. No, it's a giant ornament. But here's the thing. It's, it's not what you see on the outside. It's what's on the inside. See, if I pick this up and pick it up. There's something in there. There's something in there. Yeah. And the only way we could know if it's a candy, candy cane is if we open it up. How do you do that? Santa Claus. Uh oh. His magic. Uh oh. Wand. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Keith, why don't you hold that? He's actually a really, okay. really funny guy. That's okay. Santa Claus. Yes. I love him. I'm gonna, All right. I'm gonna and step then back I'm gonna just bit. cover it up. And Keith, okay. what you're going to do mm -hmm. is you're gonna show us what you got. You're gonna this take whack heavy. this. Yep. That's, a, that's like, like that. real I'm axe. I'm going one hand this bad boy. <laughs> All right. And just like that, uh -huh. go ahead and why don't we back up so okay, I don't get hurt? So you don't get hurt. So go ahead. Anywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead and just yeah, break it open. Break it open. Bam! Candy cane. Candy cane. No oh, way! Come on. What? Come on, Zach. No. Come on, Zach. There's no way. Come on, and Zach. That's, that that's is real. That's candy cane. It is real. It looks that real. That is a candy. It tastes a real. Bunch of candy this canes. is good. <laughs> what do you want? One? Um, you want yeah, one? of course I do. Okay, so. Zach, we talked to you in the first half hour about just how you get into this. And you said that you were inspired by folks like David Blaine, who you then went on to be an advisor for some incredible magicians. Yes. And, and I can see why, because obviously you're very good at yeah. these illusions and magic. Yeah, I, I've been blessed to work. You, you know, it's funny because magic's one of the few industries where the heroes you look up to and the heroes that got you started in the industry, you get to work under them. That's you cool. get to be around it. It's a small circle. So you never know when one day David Blaine is on a motorcycle FaceTiming you and you're like, how did you get my number? <laughs> what, what, uh, why are you calling me right now? And then working, you know, you know, performing with like Penn Tell, it, all the whole thing, the whole thing is so fun. Uh, wow. the, the bottom line in, in, in this world, this is uh, good. This, I, I bet I, we're going to keep them all yeah. for the staff yeah. <laughs> in this world where, you know, uh, so many people are, are caught up on so many divisive issues. We, we report on them all the time, serious, uh, sometimes tragic. How good does it feel and how much does it warm your heart to know that your profession and your passion brings joy mm. to people? Yeah, it is the only thing that really matters, you know, because like with magic, you need an audience, mm -hmm. an audience to experience it. You know, my dad is from Iran. My mom is from Afghanistan. They came here to America to live the American dream. Unfortunately, my, pa my dad passed away when I was one, mm -hmm. but I didn't find out till I was like seven or eight years old. And when I found out, I wanted to keep it a secret. Mm -hmm. So magic was one of the only art forms for, for me to run to because it was an art form all about secrets. Mm. And one thing led to another, and I you kind of just get a little bit good, and the amount of success you get is uh, directly indicative to the amount of failures uh, that you incur as well. So you just kind of try things, hope it works out, and if it doesn't, you adjust it and hope for the best next time. All right, and you said you got one more, one more trick up your sleeve? Yeah. Do we have time? Uh, uh, Obi? Obi? <laughs> Talk to us, Obi. <laughs> 
We're going to say yes. Can we make time? (laughs) Okay. We're we're told Uh, we don't have time, but what we're going to do is have you do that uh, trick uh, uh, off to the side after our show, and we'll post it on social media. Yeah, so follow us at CBS News Texas. We're going to post it on our Instagram, Twitter, Facebook page, so y'all can all see one more trick before the big show. Yeah, the big show. If you can't make it in person, you will be able to see more from Zach Mears and his magic. You know, uh, don't miss that uh, parade of lights on TXA 21 Sunday night from 6 to 8. Yeah, you're going to have Zach, our own Nicole Baker, Scott Padgett, getting you ready for the holiday season. You can catch that parade on air and on our website.